hi everyone and uh, let's see here today how to make a wim file from iso image uh, for the wds that's the windows deployment services so i have just made a step by step uh, uh, task what you need to uh, do uh, in order to make a wim file from iso image so first step uh, would be uh, make sure you have uh, winrar or any compression tool uh, next would be extract the ISO image file. So we just need to right click and extract uh, that ISO file. I'll be showing you that. And in most of the Windows 7 and 8 uh, ISO images, you will find the .wim file in a resources folder. So you, uh, you, uh, you just need to find the two files that is I install.wim and boot.wim and you can uh, see if you are working on a physical uh, server you can save it on your uh, hard disk or if you are working uh, in a uh, virtualized world like uh, using vmware uh, workstation then you need to uh, copy it on a usb drive so uh, and then uh, you need to work with the wds server uh, open the wds server go to the start administrative tools this would open the wds uh, uh, server from the server manager and you need to uh, just select uh, you need to add the boot image uh, uh, to the boot image that is the boot.wm file that you have saved in your location and uh, the boot.wm file will be added in the similar way right click uh, in uh, the install images i'll show you here just a minute so these are the two uh, two uh, requirements one is boot images just right click and add image add boot image and uh, install image uh, go ahead and add the install image you, if you have already created a uh, image group uh, you can continue with that or you can create a new group so uh, let's let's see how you can uh, extract that uh, i have just uh, have uh, downloaded a iso file uh, that is uh, for the windows 8.1 so here it is so so uh, this is the windows 8.1 professional x64 uh, uh, iso image so you just need to right click and extract uh, to windows 8.1 or uh, any any location that you prefer and a folder would be created and you would be finding a resource folder under that and uh, just click on resource folder if you run a search uh, you would be seeing two files that is boot.wim and install.wim you just need to save these uh, copy these two uh, wim files uh, for the wds so let's see how 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 to add so i have already copied it on my uh, usb drive so i would not be showing that so first let's add a boot image so right click add boot image go to the browse go to that location uh, i have on my c drive i believe let me see uh, this is my thumb drive uh, i need to go to my thumb drive but this is my usb drive so this is the boot.wm file so just uh, point to that click on next it'll be asking few things you need to uh, do you want to image this so just go click next and it's in the process of adding the boot image so you can see here it says adding boot image adding image one of one uh, microsoft windows setup x64 so uh, let's see here how much time it will it should not take more than one or two minutes uh, to be added it's just trying to uh, check uh, everything before it gets added at the black background so i'll just pause the video here uh, as soon as it starts uh, i'll just uh, uh, resume uh, the video so the process has been started here so it's uh, getting added so it should not take uh, more time 
this is this is how actually uh, this this is a, a basic uh, this is not the actual way because uh, uh, we, we do not actually work with ISOs then uh, extract them and do uh, the, ba the the fundamental uh, uh, objective here is to have a WM file that's what uh, I showed but usually uh, you need a DVD uh, that is uh, the Microsoft uh, uh, any Microsoft operating DVD the original version and you just need to put it in your tray and uh, DVD tray and just uh, try to point the source uh, uh, source folder and should pick up the WM file this is this is the other way because if you don't have uh, the DVD and uh, you you want to you want to uh, work and you want to test how how the WDS works uh, then uh, we use uh, this method so uh, you can see here the selected images were uh, successfully added to the server just click on finish and here you go this is uh, your windows 8 uh, i did not rename anything it just says microsoft windows setup x64 so in the same way you need to add the install images uh, that is the install dot wmi wim So let me let me add that. So I click on add install image. I have already created a group that is image group one. I'll select that. I'll point my install dot vim and click on next. So it has picked up two things. It's picked up a uh, Windows 8.1 and it's picked Windows 8.1 Pro. 8.1 Pro. So what does it say? The file that you specified contains the following images. Select the images that you want to add to the server. So by default, and they click here. They use the default name and description for each of the images. So that would be uh, 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 just near. That would be uh, the name that would be uh, populating when you try to uh, when the client a PXC client pushes it uh, to the server. So click on next. So selected images are these both. So click next it will check the integrity of the source uh, uh, install image file i'll once again uh, pause the video here once it starts i'll just resume it so, uh, here you go is uh, it just uh, started uh, to adding the image after uh, the integrity check so after the checks it will be adding the image it says uh, uh, adding windows images and adding image one of two as you as, as you uh, saw previously it has two images one is uh, windows 8.1 pro and windows 8.1 so uh, this would this would be taking some time while here uh, because uh, there are huge, huge files and uh, it will take some time so i'll the, pause the video here uh, and once uh, the both the images are added to the install images folder uh, in the wds services uh, i would come back and uh, show you how, how we can uh, deploy this uh, wds uh, through wds uh, the, these both images uh, let, then let's wait for a um, for a while here i'll pause the video okay uh, looks like it's uh, uh, the operation has been completed the install images have been uh, added uh, we need to click on finish and here you go so in the image group uh, you can see image group one that's the group i created just for the lab uh, we have three images one is windows 7 uh, another one is windows 8.1 and the other one is uh, third one is windows 8.2 one pro so let's see uh, how it how it works uh, when we uh, try to uh, create a vm and try to work on it uh, so let's let's go to workstation vmware workstation so earlier i created these two virtual x001 and virtual x002 uh, using the wds deployment services so let's create another one and let's see what what it does uh, we will go to file uh, new virtual machine uh, click on next we'll need a uh, we'll have need a blank uh, vm just click on uh, yes and we need windows server we are working on windows 8 
so click on next 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 and uh, these are the configuration that it will be showing just click on finish so this is has been added windows x uh, windows 8 x64 so let's try to power it on and see what happens okay i did not uh, i missed a thing here once again uh, let me power it off Uh, we need the network adapter uh, to be set. So network adapter, uh, network connection would be bridged that is connected directly to the physical network and replicate the network physical network connection state and uh, click on OK. Now it's bridged. Now let's try power it on. It's getting power on. so it found architecture x64 so let me see what because I'm not sure which which would be uh, deployed here so uh, give me a minute I'll just go here and uh, let's go to the pending devices I have one pending device I'll just name is virtual x 003 and click OK. It's has been pending. It's it should start here. Here you can see it's uh, now uh, choose an operating system uh, that works for us better. So it's asking to choose us between Windows 7 or Windows uh, Windows uh, Win Microsoft Windows Setup uh, 64. We can change the name here anytime you want. So let let me do uh, that as well if uh, if it, there is a possibility. I'll just check that. I'll do a escape here. I'll just. Uh, I'll just power it off. And go to the e boot images. I'll make it Microsoft Windows eight point one. Apply. Here I'll apply Windows 8.1 setup. Okay, I've made it these changes. Uh, let's see if it uh, reflects there. Okay, you can see now the name has been changed. So now it shows Windows 7 and Microsoft 8.1. So uh, we'll go with this uh, Microsoft Windows 8.1. Click. It'll try to load up. You can see uh, in the bottom it says IP 192.168.0.112. That's the uh, uh, server. Uh, uh, DHCP server from DHCP servers and all the DNS servers are configured onto that machine and even the WDS server is configured on that uh, so it uh, it's booting up the images it's uh, pulling up the boot image that is the boot.wim So it should come up in a in a while. It depends entirely about uh, about your network, how it works, and how it does everything. So it's loading up uh, the install files. I see a Windows logo. Uh, 
it's uh, reading the install images everything and here you go so here is the setup is starting so uh, this is this is uh, this is the way uh, from where you can from the iso file you can right click and uh, extract the iso file using a winrar or any compression tool and uh, then copy those uh, wim files that the install.wim and boot.wim files into a usb drive or if you are working uh, if you are working on a physical server you can save it on anywhere uh, any other location and uh, you, know, you need to simply add this uh, wim files into the uh, boot uh, boot images folder and installs uh, installs uh, uh, images folder in your uh, wds that's the windows uh, deployment server and uh, you j and and then you just need to uh, and then uh, the pxe client will automatically pick those files so this is how it works uh, so i hope uh, this uh, uh, it, uh, this video was uh, informative for everyone thank you